Box of Shocks, 2011, tells the story of Oliver, who is frustrated with his overprotective parents. When Oliver finds an old wooden box, he decides to fill it with souvenirs of secret adventures that would shock his parents. Over the course of his exploits, Oliver befriends a lonely boy and learns to appreciate his own loving family. In this novel for middle grade readers, Canadian author Chris McMahon explores topics of family, empathy, and neglect. McMahon shares that Box of Shocks was inspired by the story of his friend's return visit to his childhood home. The novel won the 2013 Manitoba Young Reader's Choice Award. Oliver, the first person narrator of Box of Shocks, immediately informs the reader that he only lies to his parents when he has to, but Oliver lies a lot because his parents are annoyingly fussy. They worry about Oliver falling downstairs or being attacked by mean dogs. They feed him healthy food, take him for frequent medical checkups, and fill his day with swimming, piano, karate, and quality family time. The only time Oliver has to himself is in the bathroom or in the basement. Oliver's parents leave him alone in the basement because his mother fears creepy crawlies, and his dad has a dust allergy. Oliver is digging for treasure in the basement's dirt floor when he digs up an empty wooden box. He hatches a brilliant top-secret plan to embark on a series of e-daring exploits. These adventures must be stunts that would horrify his parents if they knew about them. Oliver plans to commemorate each adventure with a special memento to keep in his box of shocks. He hides his box behind a wall panel in his bedroom closet. Oliver starts his collection with a piece of candy he gets on Halloween, from a creepy house his parents specifically forbid him to visit. He offers to walk home from his dreaded piano lesson so he can see the legendary Spike McChomp, the meanest dog in town. Spike is known for chewing on iron spikes, a spike would be a perfect addition to Oliver's box. He gets a spike but loses his pants and shoes to the big dog and must steal an old lady's dress off a clothesline to hide his state of undress. Oliver feigns illness to skip a family event and gets a photograph of his friend's tarantula, Mr. Creepy, walking on his arm. Risking food poisoning and defying his parents' rules, he eats a Wally Wowser burger, saving the illicit burger's wrapper. When Oliver spends two months of summer vacation at his uncle Ned's farm, he thinks he will have lots of opportunities for shocking adventures, but his attempt to ride a cow fails, and there is no current in the electric fence when he tries to touch it. He finally succeeds, jumping from the dangerous Pegasus Valley Bridge into the river. This is Oliver's most hazardous stunt and the one he is most proud of. He can barely let go of the bolt he collects from the bridge, and he cannot wait to put it in his box. Oliver returns home to find that his parents have bought a house down the street and already moved in, they did not tell Oliver because they did not want him to worry. Oliver panics, knowing his box of shocks is still hidden in his old bedroom. However, the house is occupied by a new family. Oliver tries to think of ways to get back inside. The new family has a boy Oliver's age, and Oliver learns that the boy, Diggory, is in his class. Oliver watches Diggory resentfully. He notices that Diggory wears the same clothes to school every day and only eats crackers at lunchtime. Diggory has no friends, and no one speaks to him. Oliver sees that Diggory gets home late after working his after-school job, and Diggory's parents come home even later in their rusty old car. Desperate, Oliver sneaks into the house several times when no one is home to try to retrieve his box. He is surprised to find that the house has no furniture and that the refrigerator is empty. In Oliver's old room, Diggory has only a mattress and a blanket on the floor. Both times the family comes home, and Oliver escapes out the window, forgetting his box. He hears Diggory's parents screaming at him. Oliver begins leaving part of his lunch in Diggory's locker and is happy when Diggory enjoys the food. When his class must bring in a pet for an assignment, Oliver sneaks into Diggory's room to loan him his pet fish, Bubbles. This time, Diggory catches Oliver. He urges Oliver to get out, just as his angry parents arrive. Oliver's dad is waiting to help Oliver escape out the window. He tells Oliver he and his mom are not angry with him for sneaking out to help Diggory, making decisions, even bad ones, is part of growing up. For their pet assignment, Oliver and Diggory give a combined presentation. Diggory shares that Bubbles has a good life and never has to live in a car or run from the police. Diggory alludes to other abuse. The next day, Diggory does not come to school. Their house is dark, and the old car is gone. 
Oliver's mom tells him that the family skipped out without paying their rent. Oliver finally retrieves his box of shocks and finds that Diggory has added a few things. Diggory leaves a note thanking Oliver and saying he'll never forget. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.